Hello YouTube. Yesterday, Apple released iOS 7 Beta 2, the second developer beta that we've been provided with over the course of the announcement of iOS 7. This brought some new changes and bug fixes, probably the most significant of which was we can now run iOS 7 on the iPad. So you can see here I have it running on the iPad, and it's fully functional iOS 7, although it is still in beta so there are some problems, but you can see we have all of the usual apps that we have on the iPad, and something we haven't been able to see before, which is Photo Booth, but now, with the release of the of iOS 7 onto the iPad, we now have Photo Booth, which has all the regular effects and everything that you expect from Photo Booth. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the different changes that were made to iOS 7 Beta 2 as opposed to Beta 1, and showing off what the difference is. The first thing I'm going to talk about is Siri. People have commented that they feel like Siri is faster in Beta 2, as well as an addition of the voice gender option. You can see over here, the default selection is female, but we can also select that and change it to male. And if we do that, then Siri. Hello, Siri. Hello there, Freddy. And it works just like Siri with the exception that it has a male voice instead of a female voice. Another option discovered in iOS 7 on the iPad was that the camera now has an option for HDR photography with the iPad. If you don't know, HDR is a type of photography that adjusts for exposure differences in a picture and takes very three, three very quick succession photos and stitches them together in order to form a photo even that looks good even if you have a high exposure contrast. So if you're taking a picture of say a dark foreground on a very bright background it'll correct for that and try to stitch them together into a nice looking picture for you. Another cool update is that they made the swiping up to kill apps much smoother and it doesn't hang as much as it did before. Another speed improvement was in Spotlight which if we search if we searched before for say one letter it would take many many seconds for us to come up with any sort of results but it comes up almost instantly now. Reminders has also received an updated interface on iOS 7 on the iPhone which is also in tandem with weather which now allows you to see all of the currently tracked options in all the currently tracked cities in the weather app. Another addition to the iPhone version of iOS 7 was Apple bringing back voice memos which had been mysteriously absent from the first iOS 7 beta but it has returned in iOS 7 beta 2. So that's just some of the biggest changes Apple made to iOS 7 Beta 2. Obviously there's going to be several more betas for us to see uh, changes on, but that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to be updated about the next iOS 7 Beta releases.